of, of yesterday, uh, and one 21-year-old uh, rapper uh, from Bristol was stabbed to death. Uh, circumstances of that uh, attack not clear, as you'd expect at this stage. Also, uh, footage widely shared on social media uh, of a bus shelter roof collapsing. Large group had uh, climbed on top of it, resulting in uh, two people uh, being injured. Ken, Ken Hines is the chair of Haringey Stop and Search Group. He's also part of Rough Diamond, organises events at carnivals. He's here in the studio. Ken, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, compared to some years, this was not uh, blighted by crime. There have been worse years when it comes to stabbings and muggings and all the rest of it. And, uh, you know, this is uncancellable. We get that, that Notting Hill Carnival is a, is a, is a, a punctuation mark in our annual calendar. But there are, you know, the, the, the people rejoice in. But the people, people are worried too when they see the inevitability of serious crime. What do you say to them? Look, um, first of all, I want to send my condolence out to the, to the family of the, of the young man who, who lost his life tragically uh, on, a, on an amazing um, kind of event. This is, a, uh, this is the pinnacle. I call it my Olympics. So I train all year just for, that, um, to, for the Notting Hill Carnival. And then to see it being... The, the headline has been about the violence rather than about the beauty of the, of the costume, about the diversity, about, you know, the, the positive spirits that, that was generally, that marked both days. It is, uh, to me, it's unfortunate. Can I, just as a journalist, I'll come back on that, because I think it's a, it's a really interesting point. I mean, sadly, it's never, it's never news when a plane lands safely. It's only news when a plane crashes. And in the same way, if we didn't cover the violence, if we didn't cover a fatal stabbing and said, oh, look at these fantastic pictures of people who put wonderful sequin costumes on, people would be left scratching their heads saying, well, hang on, uh, you're glossing over something very serious, namely a killing. So we have to, we have to reflect that. I, and maybe we're not reflecting that. it in as balanced a way as, as, as I, you would I like. I understand, but the balance also comes for, for six months. The work that goes on behind the scene, now, I've been involved in the car for 20 years, of people who, uh, what we do, we're building communities, stronger communities, outside the carnival, because the, the legacy it leaves with, with the people that has come, have been part of that kind of community village, it goes on for a lifetime. They become friends. So when these things happen, my thing is simply is that we need to do something different, you know? And the things that we need to do different, we can't just leave it down to the police in. We can't blame the police for anything that does go on there because we're... No, nobody's blaming the police yeah, for what happened, And it, and it shouldn't yeah. be because I, I saw some really challenging police moments where they've, they've stepped in to stop fights and then the, the, um, some of the young men want to turn on the police. 30 and I'm, plus and I've police officers injured. And I've stepped officers, in. Yeah. And I've stepped in. Yesterday? Say, yeah, yesterday. What, what, what happened? That's well, what you saw. Well, what it was, there were a group of guys fighting and the police were walking by and they stepped in and, and they de-escalated. It. The next thing, one group turned on the police to then wanted to go and get aggressive on the police. And I stepped in, I said, listen, we're not of that life. This event is not about that. Come on, we've got families there. Because I, I was with two young girls, teenage girl, my, my, um, my niece, my nieces, and, and I, I didn't, they didn't want to see that kind of violence. But I felt I had to step in because that's what my role is outside the community, is t about keeping the peace or making the peace? Norman Baker. Well, I, th I, I think Ken's uh, response was, was brilliant, to be perfectly honest with you. It is a popular event. It's a very important event in the calendar. It's an event where people can come together to celebrate and something good can come out of it. And it is a tragedy, actually, that we end up talking about the negatives, which because the negatives are only a small part of what happened, and it was yep. largely positive. And I, uh, your, your comparison about... Um, a plane landing safely and not landing safely. He's absolutely right, Colin. That is, that is how the news works. And I sometimes think people get a, an impression of the world, which is, which is oh, the, well, the news is terrible, it's all very destructive. Actually, a huge number of good things happen in the world, but they don't make news. Look, if, 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 it, if it was, if it was uh, somewhere where you, you, you were going to be caught, kept caught up in trouble all the time, hundreds of thousands of people, some of them from abroad, wouldn't descend on Notting Hill in the, in the way they do. But I just wonder if I was taking my kids, you know, if I'd been in your situation, Kevin, with, with teenage daughters yesterday, I, I would have been glad to have been gone by dusk because there does seem to be a problem on that last night. There is. There is. There's, and for, for years, we have been complaining for there to be a better way of ending the carnival. And how they used to end the carnival back in the days, they used to allow the, the floats to play the music mm. half, um, for half a mile or mile 
outside of the carnival route. What that tend to take, it tend to take tr um, trolls of people out in a civilised way. But once the music is cut off and people just wander around aimlessly, mm. that's a bad recipe with people who have had too much alcohol, probably drugs involved, yeah. and there's a high spirit going on. It's not a good, a good way of finishing things. Now, my thing is just because we've got weak um, organisers who are, who, are, who are leading this, we need to... Do, and don't get me wrong, the police and the authority wants to do the right thing, but they don't understand the nature of the beast. And the nature of the beast is that simply that people have kind of, they'd have a good time. We have to end it right. You've got to allow these floats to take people out in an organised manner. Don't stop at the top of the Labrick Grove or, uh, and, and people are backing off. because People just come back in into the, the carnival footprint. We want people going safely off the carnival print, footprint in an organised and a... And, 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 and a um, good way, in a good manner, in yeah. that way. I mean, the, the danger is, I mean, nothing's more likely to spark trouble than the police saying, guys, we know you've been having a great time and now it's come to an end. And so it is d managing that situation. I mean, we, I spare a thought for the, for the cops and indeed the paramedics, paramedics who yesterday had to fight their way through to get to this 21-year-old who was bleeding to death. You know, we spare a thought for all those people, don't we? Can